Hold on, I know what you're thinking. Didn't Nathaniel Bandy already make this video? No! Nathaniel Bandy and I already made this video. But I just had a revolutionary idea. What if we took all the tracks from Mario Kart 7 and put them into Mario Kart Wii? Would there be more that are possible backwards if we did that? On the custom Mario Kart Wiki, there's a mod called Mario Kart 7 Wii that does exactly what we're after. Only for some reason, they took out the download link and replaced it with that of New Mario Kart 7, which shouldn't have every single Mario Kart 7 track, and it throws in a couple of extra retros over the Wii tracks. But whatever, it's the best we've got, so let's get into the rules. We gotta drive an entire lap backwards. I only attempted these tracks in time trials, so results may vary if you bring in other items and players. Take that! Toad Circuit was ported into Mario Kart Wii by Torrin, and just like Mario Kart 7, it's possible backwards. Take that! You can thank Atlas for porting Daisy Hills into Mario Kart Wii, but you can also blame him for making it impossible backwards. Much like Mario Kart 7, the respawns put you back in the village at the bottom of the glider section. I tried using the fountain to get on top of the houses, but I had no such luck. Take that! Wexos and Kryl were kind enough to bring us Cheap Sheep Lagoon, but sadly, they seem to have made it impossible backwards. In Mario Kart 7, Nathaniel and I tried launching each other over the walls, but it didn't work so well. Same deal on Mario Kart Wii, sadly. Take that! Atlas ported Shy Guy however you pronounce that to Mario Kart Wii as well, but yet again was screwed over by the glider. Truly sad. Take that! Take that! I'm not entirely sure who made this custom track, since the credits on the wiki haven't matched this version of new Mario Kart 7 perfectly so far. But whoever made this, thanks for making it possible backwards. Take that! Despite the gaps on the road, this one was possible on Mario Kart 7, and it's possible on Mario Kart Wii, even without hopping. If you time your jumps just right, you can even get low tricks off the mound, which is very satisfying. Take that! Mushroom Gorge wasn't possible backward in Mario Kart 7, but we know it's possible in Mario Kart Wii by using respawns. Take that! But in new Mario Kart 7, the creators used GCN Baby Park instead. I don't think it takes a genius to figure out that this one is possible backwards. Take that! Luigi's Mansion was ported by Zilla, who kindly didn't add any weird ramps or obstructions. So yeah, this one's possible as well. Take that! Take that! Even though Woohoo Island Loop has been ported into Mario Kart Wii, the creators of Mario Kart 7 Wii decided not to include it for whatever reason. So now we're at SNES Mario Circuit 2 early. Shadow Luigi NG made this one impossible though. Very sad. Take that! This one wasn't possible in Mario Kart 7, but Alos and WG93589 changed the respawn points to make it possible in Mario Kart Wii. We can now respawn inside Peach's castle and clear the ramp by the mushroom as well. Take that! In Mario Kart 7, we were only able to clear this with two-player mode. But in Mario Kart Wii, we can just get the knockback from the walls and clear the course with ease. Take that! Just like the original Mario Kart 7, Zilla made sure this one was possible backward in Mario Kart Wii as well. Take that! <laughs> Take that! Since we already tried SNES Mario Circuit 2 in the Flower Cup, the creator of New Mario Kart 7 slapped in Yoshi Circuit, which I believe was ported by Tok. There's lots of different versions, so don't quote me on that. I tried to be all fancy and do the shortcut, but the game wasn't a fan of that. Regardless, it's all possible backwards. Take that! Coconut Mall was possible backwards in Mario Kart 7 by clipping out of bands with two players. In Mario Kart Wii, it was possible by performing the glitch to do the Ultra Shortcut, then driving up the archway. Take that! Regardless, it was swapped out with DSDK Pass in this pack, which I assume was ported by Skipper. Man, I wish there was a proper credit list somewhere. Regardless, just like in Mario Kart 7, it's not possible. Take that! As cool as this track is, they added an invisible wall under the ramp to prevent you from getting the respawn. That's just mean, whichever one of you made the track. Take that! Take that! Atlas doesn't even give you a chance for this one. Nope. Just like Mario Kart 7, these wooden posts are interesting, but ultimately useless. Faithfully, Atlas made these stone walls way too high to be jumped over, and the sails were proving troublesome as well. Take that! I was a little concerned when Atlas added a full boundary to the side here, but thankfully you can still shroom jump over the glider ramp and beat the rest of the track with ease. Take that! I'm not even sure how to judge this track. Does this count as backwards? Probably not. Well, Funky Dude 15 and Wexel certainly aren't gonna let you get up there, so I'll give this one a no. Take that! <laughs> This won't come as any surprise to you, but one of these lovely creators was responsible for making Calamari Data possible backwards. Good job, guys. Take that! Since we already tried DSDK Pass, the creator threw in Sherbet Land, which was ported by one of these guys. To nobody's surprise, it's possible backwards. Take that! I was expecting the stairs to be an issue here, but nah, we can just drive up them. Thank you, whoever made this track. Take that! Maple Tree Way wasn't possible in Mario Kart 7, and it wasn't possible in Mario Kart Wii either. Regardless, it was swapped out with DS Shroom Ridge by Sneaky, which is easily possible backwards. Take that! Take 
dead. What? We can't get past this massive wall? Whoa, I'm super shocked. Someone tell one of these guys that they almost gave me a heart attack. Think of that! Much like in Mario Kart 7, there's a full boundary completely blocking the ramp. No chance. Think of that! No. Think of that! No. Think of that! Think of that! Cooper Cape wasn't possible in Mario Kart 7, and it sadly was impossible in Mario Kart Wii as well. Think of that! Regardless, it was swapped out with GCN Luigi Circuit. Not sure how to judge this one, but one of these guys made it impossible to get up this wall, so I'll say no to this one too. Think of that! You can actually get past this wall, but whoever made the track didn't want you reaching the airship. Very sad. Think of that! We'd normally explore Dino Dino Jungle, but it wasn't included in this pack for some reason. So instead, we'll explore one of the many GCN Badger Castle custom tracks. It didn't seem so promising after this respawn, but jumping past the ramp plus it's here, and jumping off into the lava section weirdly puts us at the start of the track. Think of that! And ending things off, we have Nye Al Black's remake of the 3DS's remake of Super Nintendo's Rainbow Road. And yes, it's possible backwards. Think of that! And with that, we've attempted all the tracks. Let's take a look at the results. 16 tracks were possible backwards, and 16 tracks were impossible backwards. This means that exactly half of the tracks can be driven the other way for funsies. In the original Mario Kart 7, only 13 tracks out of the 32 available were possible backwards. Hey, I'm assuming you want to check out how the 3DS version stacks up against it properly, don't you? Never fear, the link to Nathaniel Bandy's video will be in the description. But why not subscribe to my channel too, and like the videos for funsy onesies? Thank you very much, and I'll see you all soon.